Hello, great people. Welcome back to Global Happenings today. We are so excited to have you again. Finally, Chief Olusegun Obasanjo, the former president of Nigeria, has burst the bubble of APC supporters who went around with a manipulation and lies that uh, Chief Olusegun Obasanjo has okay the Bola Ahmed Tinibu 2023 presidential ambition. Few days ago, there was a meeting between Olusegun Obasanjo and Tinibu. Tinibu actually visited Olusegun Obasanjo at Abiyokuta, Ogun State. He is a resident and uh, they had a closed door meeting. According to Femi Bajabi Amela, who first of all leaked out the uh, outcome of the meeting, he told Nigerians that. Uh, um, the, the three persons were selected from Tinibu's camp and three from OBJ's camp and they had a closed door meeting and from all discussion that the victory of Bolagman Tinibu has been okayed by um, Chief Olusegun Obasanjo and that he is supporting the, you know, the presidential ambition of uh, uh, Tinibu, Bolagman Tinibu. But right now, the president, former president of Nigeria has come out to speak and shockingly he is different in his narration for me uh, I, I knew very well that he will always come out to speak now let's look at exactly what he had to tell Nigerians about you know the whole issue of supporting Tinibu's presidential beat now, according to the news, the former president of Nigeria, Lusegun Obasanjo, has said some comments being circulated about his meeting with the presidential candidate of the All Progressive Congress, APC, Bola Ahmed Tinibu, are fake. Can be recalled that Tinibu on Wednesday visited Obasanjo at his penthouse resident within the Lusegun Obasanjo presidential library at Biokuta, Ogun State. Accompanied by Governor Dabo Abiodun of Ogun State, Speaker Femi Bajabi Amela, Chief Bisio Konde, Chief Shegun Oshoba, Otumba, Gwenga Daniels, Nugu Rivado, and others, Tinibu had private discussions with Obasanjo. While the duo of Tinibu and Obasanjo have kept sealed lips over what transpired, at the meeting, different claims are being made in the media by those claiming to be inside sources. But Abbas and Joy expressed dissatisfaction with such unauthorized report of the discussion at his meeting with Tinibu and the fake statement credited to him. In a statement signed by his special assistant on media, Kane De Akinyemi, on Saturday, Obasan Joe maintained that the statement coming from those claiming to be supporters of Bolag Metinibu are unhelpful. According to him, the discussion between the two of them was more broadly than political. The Bologun Owo added that at the request of Tinibu, he agreed to no statement from either side. Speaking further, Obasanjo revealed that those claiming to be insider at the meeting issuing statement on the discussion and those crediting to him statement I had not made are enemies of the visitor and are not doing the visit any good. That was what Obasanjo shared via the office of his special assistant on media. And guess what? This is uh, really, really interesting. Now, a lot of people had already, in the previous presentation we made, a lot of people had already said it, that there is no way he will show any form of hate, you know, for Nigeria by supporting an old man and one who does not have so much um, health on his side. Now, Basinjo will never do that. Don't forget that uh, when we're talking about this whole issue of presidency. Obasanjo had come out to tell Nigerians that the responsibility lies in the hands of the youth. Now, I think today or so when um, this guy brought up a publication or a video, um, Charlie Boy, as area father, who calls himself the president of frustrated Nigerians, when um, Obasanjo was asked question, lingering on this whole issue of poor leadership and all of that, he came up to tell Nigerians that the responsibility, the onus, lies with the youth. 
And uh, with all of that that he has said thus far, looking at the current train of events in the country, I was so sure that Chief Obasanjo will never hide his disdain for any form of manipulations and lie. And I feel that he will soon make public what he discussed with Jagabam in Abuguta. We all know that he will never sacrifice his love for Nigeria to greed. And I wonder those who were the ones who carry out the lies. But first of all, I could still remember that Femi Bajamela said something about the victory of uh, Tinibu uh, that Obasanjo has supported. Or Obasanjo, based on what Obasanjo said, it's a pointer to the fact that victory is already assured and all of that. But Obasanjo, oh, sorry, President Muhammad, uh, President Olusegun Obasanjo had already told Nigerians, hey, whatever you guys heard was nothing but lies. I did not discuss anything political. Everything was revolving around um, brotherhood. That it was a brotherly discussion they had. Now, I have heard him also talk about, you know, this same issue of the meeting they had. One of the things he didn't mention was that um, the person of Tinibu, uh, Tinibu has introduced two new vocabs in um, Yoruba language. That's a Miloko and one other word, which he made mention of. So you can now see that... Uh, uh, what they went there to do was to possibly exchange pleasantry and uh, formally have a brotherly gist with him because um, we all know that for a long while now there had been no uh, coming together. It was as if there was a vendetta between both of them, but kind of being reconciled now. So with that, I, I don't think that APC um, can say fully now that he gave his um, this thing support. But I believe strongly that if this extends beyond uh, what we are seeing currently, certainly um, they will have to tell, they, have, uh, they will have to open up on what their discussion was during that time. And uh, we know the reason why everything seems to be you know, diving for Tinibu as that, especially when you have, have to do with uh, um, Basenjo. We, we can say, if you check that our uh, video, you will see what he said about President uh, former president Olusegun Obasanjo, far back in 2019 or 2015, he said something very um, terrible about him uh, that he's a chief rigger and all of that. If you check the video, you see the the, the 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 video there where he said all of that. So with that, I, I don't think that he can anyway get the support of uh, uh, the, the, the former president of Nigeria. Now, someone here is saying that. Obasanjo is too smart to be used in such a manner. His acceptance of a visit was with optimal caution. Baba na babao. Mm -hmm. So you can imagine what someone is saying there, that even before he accepted his visit, he must have prepared himself. And uh, just as it has never really happened, uh, he said, okay, uh, let's have a closed-door meeting. Three people from your side, three people from my side. And uh, guess what that means? It means those guys were actually going in there as weaknesses. So tomorrow, if I parayan, they will correct me. If you also say something that I did not say, they will correct you. So, and I know that with that, uh, he would have been very careful. Another person here said, bam, bam. A drowning man will hold on to anything to stay afloat, even if it is a straw. OBJ won't allow scavenger to eat from the crumbs that falls from his table. No one said he wanted to play PO kind of politics, but this time around he got played. PO has been visiting Baba countless times. You can never see obedience being braggadocious about it because we know Baba wants to rescue this nation from the vandals in APC and PDP. Another L for Agbado FC. <laughs> Another loss <laughs> for Agbado FC. This one said, I would have asked you to follow your conscience to vote for competence, but the problem is I don't trust your conscience to vote right. Without ethnic or religious partisanship, they, therefore, therefore I advise you to vote for Peter B for Better Nigeria and all of that. I saw something someone wrote somewhere, and the person said that no matter what, never drink uh, poison from a tribal cup because Belen are still 
Bele. And I think that's exactly what uh, Obasanjo wants everybody to understand, that no matter what, whether you are from my tribe or not, I cannot choose, you know, incompetence above competence. We'll leave it there. Go to our comments.